Hey everybody, welcome back to the ST3 video. Like always, my name is VJ. Today, we are going to be reviewing or going over the AIO Robotics 3D Filament. Let's get started. As most of you have noticed uh, with my postings online, is I'm asking everybody for the recommendations. I'm looking for a new filament to mess around with, uh, to test, to see how they work and the price ranges they're at, and uh, find two or three that I always go to. I have one so far. I'm looking for another, uh, maybe two more types of filament, two brands of filament. So that's what this video is about. So I'm taking everybody's recommendation online, and the ones uh, that stand out to me, I'm actually ordering them. I've been ordering them for like the past week, week and a half. A few have come in and uh, this one just came in about two days ago so I'm gonna go ahead and go over it. I've never actually heard of AIO Robotics uh, 3D filament but there's a first time for everything. The first thing I'm gonna sh tell you is if you notice this box is a little bit smaller because their filaments actually come in 0.5 kg instead of 1 kg which equals 500 grams instead of a thousand grams which you normally would use. Uh, but <clears throat> it comes just in the standard small little box like so uh, again the packaging is not a big deal to me uh, but what's inside and how well they seal it is what really counts but uh, one thing I do want to go over on the label outside uh, the recommended temperature for this PLA is 195 to 230 which is kind of like the standard rating temps for filaments the one thing that did stand out to me, it is certified <clears throat> ROHS approved. Now I've never seen that on any of the films that I've used. So I searched it to see what it was and I believe it was uh, something uh, or rest restricted of hazardous material. What that basically means is this film in here was made with no harmful material to the environment. Uh, so like when you throw it away or things like that, like disposal or um, the way it decays, I guess is better, is eco-friendly. So uh, that's kind of cool to know. I didn't know about that before, so that's something I'll be checking for. Uh, so continuing, let's go and get this sucker open. And here it is. I got the bright red. It's kind of a cool little packaging. Uh, clear on this side and you got like a little aluminum foil type deal on this side and it sealed pretty damn good though i do give it that i mean i gotta pull it apart to get it going and i guess most of these uh you can use ultra or ultra oh they have a little advertising on the front with a 3d pen <laughs> that you can actually get if you wanted to uh that's kind of cool it says premium quality right there in the corner but as we know never trust labels guys we're gonna be the judge of that after we do a few prints um, so let's go and get this open okay so it looks like it has a little tab right here so you don't need any scissors or anything like that you just go and rip it open which is kind of cool user friendly I guess It looks like it looks like the bag's resealable. And actually it is. Yeah. It it's a zip lock bag. Well that's kinda cool. That's something you don't see in uh <clears throat> with a lot of PLAs. Uh it's vacuum sealed, so I guess it's reusable after you open it. So to avoid moisture getting into it uh, for storage, I guess it's a little bit better. Who knew? Okay. All right. So once you get out of the pa out of the packaging, uh, the label in the front is basically what's on the box up here. These have their logo with their website. Um, I do like the color of this red. I think it looks pretty cool. So I can't wait to test that out. Now I did cut a little bit off of the roll just to check like how strong it really is. Uh, the beginning parts did snap off, uh, but 
the middle parts are actually pretty sturdy so I can't complain about that um, yeah I gotta bend it a few times to get it out so the filament looks pretty pretty sturdy and good quality um, one thing I do like guys is how you can see the filament through the spool that is not something I've seen on other filaments that I have used so far this is kind of cool if you know you get to that one print and you're like I think I'm gonna run out of filament I think I'm gonna run out of filament and you have to keep going to your spool to look right here to see here you can actually see right through it so I guess peace of mind if you're in the room I don't know but I do like that feature to let me know how much uh, filament I actually have left so that's kind of cool <clears throat> so that's basically it this thing has good color uh, the packaging is great the quality seems pretty decent but all that jazz doesn't really mean anything until we do some prints so I'm gonna go and do some prints with this filament right here and I will let you know how it works out alright guys here's the two things that I printed with the AIO Robotics PLA um, I wanted to print I didn't want to go big I didn't want to go like super large on it I wanted to print something simple with a lot of curves and then I wanted to print something in real detail to see how it actually works out so let's go and start with of course the Marvin um, if you notice at the top usually there's some kind of uh, swirls that you see with this one I don't see any of that now this was printed at 2.2 uh, millimeter at 50 speed <clears throat> with no supports so uh, and it only has a uh, 5% infill on it but if you notice when I turn it that little shine that you have I mean it's pretty smooth all the way around so that's that's kinda cool I was very impressed with it I mean the only issue I had was down there because I had no support but everything else from the feet to the ear everything just came out great I didn't have any kind of an issue whatsoever so I think it printed pretty smooth uh, one thing I really did like is the color um, the color from the spool to the print it stays pretty true um, which I liked very much so it's not bad I mean it's pretty good uh, quality on that one alright now moving along to here um, just to let you guys know I had a little printer issue and uh, my printer at the moment is out of order but this is what I could get printed so far before I did it but <clears throat> just uh, pay attention to the details here I mean it's pretty good the side of the leg I mean the boots just came out amazing but my favorite part of this print is the cape Again, if you notice the cape, it's it's almost almost perfect. I mean, it's just right about there, and I was really happy with the way this turned out. If it would have printed all the way, it would have been great, <laughs> but it didn't. But uh, even the base, not too bad. It was pretty straight. I didn't have any stringing or blobbing or anything like that. The only issue I had was in this corner and I think that's because I ripped that off so but yeah that's it guys um, this is the AIO robotics PLA it's pretty cool it was fun to print with um, I've never printed anything with bright colors before so that was kinda cool for me but there you have it um, you be the judge of what you want to do I enjoyed it um, I'd probably recommend this PLA if you're looking for something on the cheap end um, the good thing about it is you can get the 0.5 kilos or you can actually get a whole kilo for I think roughly around uh, last I checked 1499 so if you haven't tried it go and give it a shot you never know you might just like it so um, there you go guys and like I said both of these were printed at 0.2 at 45 to 50 speed 
with the infill of five. Uh, just real quick, this thing is pretty sturdy. It's very strong filament, so I do like that as well. So there you guys go. As always, if you have any questions, comments, leave it down below. If you have any like always guys if you have any questions comments leave it down below subscribe if you want to see new content and like always good luck and happy printing